Hi, Trudy Behrman here of TrudyBehrman.com, host of Debt Free Wealth Radio. This is video number three in keeping the passion and profit in our business. So I hope you have seen videos one and two. If not, there will be links here for you to go back. And today we're talking about keeping our eyes on the money. In video number one, we talked about identifying our motivated and our unmotivated skills. We need to know what those are. In video number two, we talked about the value in hiring out for those unmotivated skills. It really makes a huge difference, right? And number three, today we're going to talk about the money. Now, this one may need a, a part two or a part three, so we'll see how it goes. Um, one of the big things that comes up a lot is when you're gonna hire out your unmotivated skills is where is the money gonna come from? Um, hopefully you've been running a, a profitable business and there is some cash flow that you can tap into. I really hope so. Um, but if not, you have to be sure that whatever you are hiring out is going to almost generate back that value of cash into your business. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, um, as I talked about in my unmotivated skills, you know, I like to create content. I like I like to create this video. I write blogs. I you know do debt free wealth radio, whatever. I create content, but I'm not such a big fan about uploading the content. So like having made this video, I've got to go and you know go into YouTube and upload it and then you know edit it out for the search engine optimization stuff, put in the proper titles, tag well. These are these are the mundane sides of that task that I, I really rather would not do. The point is guys that if you know when you hire that person to take care of those delegatable tasks, your unmotivated skills, you also want to make sure that you're keeping your eyes on your money. So that skill set that you're hiring out almost has to pay back for itself. In other words, you've got to take that time that you have saved and make sure that you're pumping it back into the business. So this is, you know, if you're paying to have someone so you can go off and play golf, that is going to be a direct cost. It's not necessarily an income generating situation or a, you know, a negative a balancing out effect. So if I hire someone who frees up my time so that I can spend more time on income generating activity, which ultimately brings in more income to my business. Now we're talking. Okay. So maybe you are, you may have to have that cash flow to pay that person for, you know, a, a week or two, or maybe even a month. But ultimately you want to put a dollar figure to their activity not the dollar figure that is costing you only to pay them, but also the revenue that their involvement helps to bring in. So, you know, there are lots of resources, like I mentioned in the other video, Fiverr.com. Fiverr.com is an incredible site. If you haven't heard of it before, there are lots of incredible professionals out there that are doing incredible things for five bucks, five bucks, stuff that you would, I know that the first time I found out about Fiverr.com, I had paid a hundred dollars for this for something that when I went into fiverr.com it was being offered for five bucks and I was like oh, well that's because I didn't know about fiverr.com and the guy who who I paid the hundred bucks to guess what he did he utilized somebody from fiverr.com and pocketed the rest of the money so there is lots of opportunities whether it's through virtual assistance through online um uh, and you know co online contractors through you know maybe a family member that you could pay to just give you a couple hours of help there's so many people out there that are looking for extra money you know maybe you can trade out services or time or something but you want to make sure that whatever person help service that you bring in and i'm talking about keeping a profit in the business now i'm not saying that there's not a benefit to you know giving yourself more free time to enjoy a quality of life and there is something to that but that's going to be an expense and understand that that's an expense i'm talking about the expense that in of itself generates back a profit you know like when you make a widget and you buy this widget, this piece and this piece you put them together and you make a new product that is sellable for a, a bigger profit that's what i'm talking about you bring that person in and they create that freedom for you to have more time to spend on the income generating activities of your business and that's how you're going to pay that person and that's how you're going to keep the passion and the profit in your business because now 
you get to focus on those aspects of your business that are part of your motivated skills, the parts of your business that you truly enjoy and the parts that you don't like so much. This other person is taking care of for you and now you have your passion, you're enjoying your work, you're enjoying your business all that much more because you get to spend more time on the area you enjoy. But at the same time, this person, because they're you're paying them X amount to do this job for you, you're also in a position to generate that much more revenue, not only to cover that person's fee, but to bring more profit into your business. Now, again, there's more aspects to this, keeping the profit in your business. So I'm going to make another video so we can talk a little bit more about cash and cash flow and, and other ways of bringing in more money to your business. So that will be in video number four. And I surely look forward to seeing you in that video. And <clears throat> below this video is an area you can ask a question, leave a comment. I hope you do. I'm super simple to find at trudyverman.com and I look forward to connecting with you.